uh, two 6S P-Packs in parallel with uh, two 12 volt batteries in series. So we're fitting uh, 25 volts, 26 volts to each uh, 6S battery. What's the length of the cable? We use uh, about 13, 14 feet on number 18 gauge wire to limit the charge current. Also makes it handy because you can leave the uh, batteries in the back of the truck. Okay, we got the, uh, the two batteries uh, set up. Oh, you don't want to use your thumb? No, because I put mine away. Just just press the start. It's only countdown. Press the start. There you go. Okay, I'm ready. Go. Okay, we got the timer going here. Come over here, son. We're uh, going to connect to the battery here. Connecting now. Charge uh, current went up to um, 20 amps on each side, 20 amps and 21 amps. No, it's, the current is here is a 16. Oh, 20 volts, I'm sorry, 17.7 and 16.3 uh, amps. So each one is slightly different. Can you see the timer? And the timer, yeah. See the timer. Okay, it's charging away. Stand over here on this side. Hopefully I get a shadow. Over here. Right here. What do you want? Stand over here. Yeah. Stand here. Okay. Go ahead now. Speak. Well, uh, 15 amps, 15.6 amps, and 16.4. Uh, Charging for about a minute. Putting in 330 watts. 340 watts into each battery, which is not bad. That's not a bad current. The batteries can take that. A minute and 22 seconds. We have, we uh, lengthened the charging cable from 12 feet to uh, 13 and a half feet. That seems to have done that. So it's pulling uh, a total of um, 31, 32 amps out of the out of the lead acid batteries, which they can take. They should be able to take that without hurting them. I wouldn't want to go any higher than that, though. The, the A123 batteries don't, don't care. They can take that kind of charging current. <coughs> it's, coming up, it's coming up on a 500 milliamps uh, of charge. 500 million per hour of charge. So about a third of the way over. Again, start. We're coming up on the five minute mark. It's uh, put in uh, 1.2 ampere hours, so it's almost done. Charge current is down to uh, 14 amps approximately. Once it, it, it's fully charged, your current will drop very quickly. It probably you will pick out around 1700 milliamps. The meters are optional, you don't have to use the meters, it's just nice to have to see what's going on. You can also just time it, you know, 10 15 minutes and you're done. Okay, on the seven minute mark, seven and a half minute mark. Current uh, keeps dropping, it's down to 8 amps, 7 amps. It's almost done. It's about 1700 milliamps, this is what we expected on a 5 minute flight. If you watch it closely now, the current will drop very quickly as the battery is fully charged. Coming up on the 8 minute mark, 4 amps, on one and uh, 1 1.4 amps on the other one. The two meters, I guess the two meters are slightly different, or the two uh, or the two cables are slightly different. One is on 2.3 amps, and the other one is on uh, 0.9 amps.
we'll wait until both of them get down to uh, half an amp or something. This one is 0.6 amps, 1.4 amps. Coming up with nine minutes. They're essentially charged now, they're fully charged, but we're just popping it off. The one on top is already a half an amp of charge, a half an amp charging current. You put in, uh, how much should you put in, 1700? Almost 1800 million pure hours. The others are 0.8 amps. If you wait long enough, it'll drop down to zero. Coming up in 10 minutes. Ten minutes now. One is at a charging at 0.6 amps. The other one is charging at a 0.3 amps. Putting the last little drags of power in. Each cell has been brought up to 4.2 volts per cell, which is okay on the A123s uh, for no more than one hour. So you can leave this hooked up for one hour maximum. Okay. But it's charging 10 minutes, so it's really no point to it. Alright, we're done. Are we done? 0.4 amps on this one? 0.25 on that one? Just wait till this one gets down to 0.2. Make sure both of the packs are fully charged. Uh, one of the finally went to 0.2 amps at uh, almost 13 minutes. One of them is charging at point, point 0.15 amps. The other one is charging at 0.2 amps. Uh, we're gonna call it fully charged. 